The synthetic rubber mold introduced by Usha Rubbers is one of the most innovative products in the market. Usha Rubbers offer superior synthetic non-stick coating which is a blend of synthetic rubber, natural rubber and 15 other chemicals that gives an out of the world finish and a stupendous glossy texture. The very material used, synthetic rubber, ensures the quality of the finished tie. Unlike conventional PVC and plastic molds, the rubber retains its elastic property and so lasts longer. You get world-class finishing quality materials for a wide range of designs in molds and a sure shot investment that will guarantee returns and make sound profit. What would you require to start producing these world-class interlock ties? Just three things. Number one, a 400 to 500 square meter working shed. Number two, machinery. And number three, rubber molds. At most care should be taken for the selection of rubber molds. The machinery part consists of two vibro forming tables connected end to end to form a straight line. One pan mixer and one concrete mixer. Now, the production part. The top coating or the first layer. The mix is white cement, baby gravel 6 mm, sand, waterproof powder, oxide, Chemical SBC Sound Built Care Chemicals and Water. All the ingredients except water and the chemical are mixed in the pan mixer for 20 minutes. The process is called dry mixing. Since water and chemical are mixed and kept separately. The chemical used here is commonly referred to as first chemical. Once the mixing is done thoroughly, the chemical and water mix is now added. Now the pan mixer is run with all the ingredients. That is the dry mixed red oxide, white cement, chips, waterproof sand plus the water and chemical to form a semi-solid slurry. And now the second layer. The mix is grey cement, sand, baby gravel 6 mm, chemical and water. There is no dry mixing in this process for the second layer. The chips, sand, grey cement and water in which the chemical is already mixed is poured into the concrete mixer and allowed to mix for the required time. The chemical used here is commonly referred to as second chemical. The chemicals used in this process are generally known as water reducing admixture WRA. The major advantage of this chemical used is quick and efficient curing with mirror finish for the tiles. The traditional water curing 
takes up to 14 days to complete. But with the advent of chemicals, we have reduced the duration of water curing from 14 days to just 24 hours. The vibrating table is switched on and the clean molds are placed on the first vibrating table. Now, the molds are filled with about 10 mm of the first mix using a measuring cup. The molds are then allowed to vibrate and move towards the second table on their own. The quality finishing of the tile greatly depends on the quality of the first mix. During this process of vibration, air spaces in the slurry escapes and the mass is compacted. At most care should be taken for the selection of vibroforming tables as too much or too little vibration can have negative impact on the quality and finishing of the tiles or pavers formed. Now the molds move to the second vibroforming table where the second layer of concrete mix is filled. The mix is filled into the mold till it is full and allowed to vibrate and travel towards the end of the second table. Do not press and fill rubber molds. The second mix is known as concrete mix which is basically a filler. This mix contributes to the strength of the tiles as the thickness and quality of second mix increases so does the load bearing capacity. Once the process is over the tiles are taken in a hard plane surface which is not flexible usually water resistant marine plywood They are stacked on top of each other with separators, generally plastic bush. These are placed in between the boards to reduce the load on the rubber molds and kept for 24 hours. The use of plastic bush or spacer decreases the chances of the mold expanding from prolonged use and thus spells additional usable life. For the rubber molds. And now it is time to demold. Though we are almost ready to get our hands on the finished tile, the demolding process requires a good amount of patience and skill. As the tile or paver blocks are slowly pushed out of the mold for almost impeccable glazing and finishing for the tiles. The tiles are now kept in the shade, avoiding direct sunlight. Over a period of two days, thanks to the chemicals used, the water evaporates completely. After the tiles are completely dry, they are ready to be polished. Acrylic lacquer is used for polishing. And the tile is ready for delivery and use within just 30 minutes. As for the process, it is a cyclic one. So we are now back to getting the molds ready for the next lot. To clean the mold, soap oil diluted in water in a ratio of 1 is to 10 is used. The mold is dipped in this solution. And then, using cotton waste, the solid debris 
and particles are clear. Instructions for laying tiles. First, the land is cleared of loose materials. Now, the land is leveled. Next, loose debris and particles are compacted by running earth rammer over it. Now, baby gravel of 6 mm size is spread over the space and it is leveled. Next, the bricks are packed alongside each other carefully. It is highly recommended to pave the tiles only in one direction. These small yet effective tips can give you exact spacing and an enviable finish. No wonder then that a thousand homes today are bonded with stability using interlocking tiles. Enhanced in quality by Usha Rubbers.